Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to make a beautiful tea basket for Mother's Day. So let's get started. This basket is actually for my mother for Mother's Day. Uh, rather than do the spa basket that I normally do, she loves to drink teas. So I got her a cute little cup, um, a few of her favorite teas, and some cookies and some chocolate. And the color for this basket is going to be a pink, purple, and lavender. And we'll add some flowers in there for mom. We're gonna go ahead and start putting in our our filler and I've got a purplish lavender shred and I'm going to be using some decorative tissue in pink. I'm going to go ahead and put in our decorative tissue. And this basket is a medium size so I won't need to put too much in there to give my items height. Time to add the shred. And I'm just mixing it up. Some of it is a lavender and some of it is like a very close to purplish. The nice thing about a tea basket is that everything is in boxes and with boxes things fit in nice and neatly. So this is going to be a very easy basket to assemble. This particular one has little bags of cookies in it so I'm going to open it up and put them all throughout the basket. This is probably my largest box item so I'm going to just put that right in the middle. I'm going to open up these chocolates and use them inside the cup and then put it in the basket. I'm just going to fill the cup with a little bit of the decorative tissue and I'm just going to put the candies inside. My mother has a collection of teacups, but I thought this one was pretty unique. It says, don't forget to be awesome. So that's a great message for anybody. Don't forget to be awesome. And my mom always tells us the same thing. Okay, the basket is coming along. I'm going to add a few little pieces of tissue throughout to add a little bit more color to it. Don't be afraid to play with color. I'm just going to add some shred over the top, make it look nice and festive. And that looks good. Don't be afraid to change things around if you need to. It's always good to look at your basket and see if you're happy with the way it's assembled. 
A really quick way to add color to your basket is to add flowers. So I'm just going to stick them in throughout the basket. It's got the stem in it. I'm just taking the stem and pushing it randomly. And it fits pretty snug in there. I'm going to give the basket a spin. Looks nice and full. My mother's going to love this. Now it's time to wrap it up. Since this is a medium sized basket, we're going to be using a 30 inch by 8 feet cellophane wrap. If you want to learn how to wrap up your basket, just click right here to see the instructions. Okay, I'm done wrapping up the basket and the fan is a little bit too high. I'm going to take it down just a notch. That's better. And now it's time to make the bow. What would a Mother's Day basket be without an awesome bow on it. I'm going to do a bow in purple and pink and I'm going to show you a new bow technique. I'm real excited about this new bow technique. We're going to be using wired ribbon. We're going to use the curling ribbon to tie these bows together. So what you're going to do is you basically want to have these lined up together. And we're going to start making loops. So you're just using them together so that they line up. Try to line them up the best you can. going to use all of the ribbon for this one. If you use this bow technique, make sure that you have ribbon that's the same exact width. Now looking at this already, I can tell that it's going to be a very full bow. Don't worry about this not lining up. We'll go back and neaten that up later. Now taking the ribbon right in the center, I'm going to do a triangular cut. Just make sure that's really comes all the way through. So you've got a triangular cut there, and we're going to do another one on this side, right in the center. So it's like that. 
Then we're going to take our curling ribbon. I'm going to use a lot. It's better to use more than less. And right where I cut, I'm going to take my curling ribbon and I'm just going to tie it. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'm going to tie another knot to secure it. And now for the fun part, we get to make our loops. Okay, just so you can see, here's where we tied it. You've got loops here. And then you've got loops right in the center here. And you're just going to start pulling out your ribbon from the inside. So you're taking from the inside, pulling it out and twisting. And you're gonna go back in, get the most inner loop. This is a real thick ribbon, so it might be a little bit more challenging. But notice now you've got alternating colors. Let get on this side, pull and twist. Pull and twist. And all you're doing is just alternating sides. And don't worry if it's not perfect at right now. We'll just go back and neaten it up. Almost done with that one side, pull it and twist. Okay, now we're done with one side. We're gonna go back and we're gonna do this side. Don't worry about these tails right here yet. We're gonna go back and neaten those up. We've got another two tails inside. Don't worry about those. You can just pull them out for right now. And then we're going to go back inside and start making our loops again. It's going to be a very full bow. Pull and twist. As you can see, we've got a two-tone bow. This is going to be look really nice on the basket. And all I'm doing is going around and fluffing out my loops to make it even fuller. And you see the little tails that are sticking out. Put those ends together. And I'm just going to cut it a slant to neaten it up and make a tail on it. Okay, I'm done fluffing out our bow, and it is quite beautiful, and it's ready to be attached. Using these other two ribbons, I'm going to go ahead and make a traditional bow. Our bows are all done, and now it's time to attach them to the basket. We're going to take our curling ribbon, and we're going to 
attach. We get to go this way. This way. I'm going to wrap it around the base of the fan. I'm going to tie a knot to secure it. Take our other ribbon. Or I should say our bow. I'm going to attach that one on. And just bring it right underneath the other ribbon here. And up underneath there. And if it, your bow gets messed up, you can just go ahead and neaten it up after it's attached. Oh, we're just going to make one more knot. Make sure it's secure. And now for the fun part. And everything blends together. I'm just going to curl up these ribbons. Many of you have been sending me pictures of your baskets, and they look awesome. You guys are my motivation. When you show me those baskets, I feel like I'm showing you as much of as many ideas as possible so that you guys can go ahead and make your own creations and y'all are doing an excellent job. It's all about practice. Okay, we're all done with the tea basket, and I think my mother is going to really like this. It's got lots of goodies for her, too. So this should keep her going for a while. If you haven't signed up for my 12-part course on Curious.com, check out the link in the description box. I'm getting great feedback on the course. And I'd love you to sign up and take it. I think you'll definitely benefit from it, especially if you love making gift baskets as much as I do. So thanks for tuning in and happy Mother's Day.